Hello and welcome to News Clicks Daily Roundup. I'm Prashant and here are the major stories for the day. Ambulance workers continue fight for pay. Day-to-day -day trial ordered in Una atrocity case. Government says 88 manual scavengers have died in the past three years. Striking teachers face violent action in Chile. US activists who provided aid to migrants will face trial again. I League, meet, I -League football teams meet Praful Patel. We begin with a strike by employees of the Centralized Accidents and Trauma Services, commonly known as CATS, which runs free ambulance services across the capital. Nearly 1,650 contractual and privately outsourced workers of CATS have gone on strike after the Delhi government awarded a tender to GVK Amri to run the ambulance service. The service was previously run by BVG India Limited and the company had not paid the workers for the past three months. The delay has taken a severe toll on the lives of striking workers. Watch News Click's ground report. This is a cat's autonomous body, which is under the Delhi government. Okay. First, this is running from 2012. The contractual staff is running from 2012. It's 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 कैट्स को प्राइवेटाइजेशन कर दिया और 2016 में और जो हमारी 10 100 110 गाड़ियां आई थी नई उनको बीवीजी नाम की कंपनी को दे दिया नई कंपनी में सबसे पहले दिक्कत तो सैलरी पर्पस की है ठीक है नई कंपनी में एक पैरामेडिक को 14700 दिया जा रहा है और ड्राइवर को 1100 दिए जा रहे हैं 30 ड्यूटी के सेकंड टाइम आवर 180 घंटे एक गवर्नमेंट रूल है 180 घंटे काम किया जाता है हम 240 घंटे करते हैं महीने में 30 ड्यूटी करते हैं फिर भी हमारा इतना शोषण हो रहा है कि तीन-तीन महीने की सैलरी कंपनियां लेके भाग जाती हैं सेक्रेटरीएट का कोई जवाब नहीं है सरकार की पॉलिसी है सरकार सुनने वाली नहीं है आप ये देखो मेरे तीन तो बड़ी-बड़ी बेटियां हैं नौकरी अपने उस पर हमने सारे टेस्ट क्लियर करे हर चीज से ओके कर लगे आज एकदम से कह दिया भाई तुम मत तुम नौकरी नहीं कर सकते तुम्हें करनी है तो कंपनी में करो घर जाओ ये ये कहां का इंसाफ है सरासरी शोषण आप ये देखो यार कैसे करेंगे बच्चों का पालन निजीकरण की वजह से ही ये सब हो रहा है पहले कैट्स के अंडर में गाड़ियां चलती थी टाइम पे उनका काम होता था वर्कशॉप में काम होता था इन्होंने प्राइवेट वर्कशॉप बनाया हुआ है जिसमें कि टेंपरेरी आइटम लगा दिए जाते हैं और टेंपरेरी टाइम के लिए उसको छोड़ दिया जाता है गाड़ी को ऑन रोड कर दिया जाता है जिससे पेशेंट को बहुत उसकी जान को बहुत खतरा होता है अ स्पेशल कोर्ट इन वेरावल ऑन जुलाई 1st ऑर्डर डे टू डे हियरिंग्स इन द उना दलित एट्रोसिटी केस दिस केस इन्वॉल्व्स अ फ्लॉगिंग ऑफ सेवन दलित मेन ऑफ वन फैमिली by upper caste men in June 2016. Vasram Sarbaya, one of the seven victims, had filed a plea through advocate Govind Parmar on June 21, seeking day-to-day -day hearings in the case. The special court of 5th additional district judge, B.L. Chaitani, which handles the case pertaining to the Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes Prevention of Atrocities Act, in its order, asked the prosecution to submit the list of witnesses by July 12th. 88 people have died in the last three years while cleaning sewers and septic tanks across the country. Ramdas Athavle, Minister of State for Social Justice and Empowerment, said in the Rajya Sabha on Wednesday, July 3rd. According to the data presented by him, Delhi, with 18 victims, registered a maximum number of deaths. However, this data does not match that calculated by the National Commission for Safai Karmacharis, NCSK, the statutory body that is set up by an act of parliament for the welfare of sanitation workers. According to the numbers released by NCSK in September 2018, 123 people employed in hazardous forms of manual scavenging had lost their lives while at work since January 2017, and one Safai Karmachari had died every five days between January 2017 and September 2018. In Chile, striking teachers faced violent police repression in their latest round of demonstrations on July 3rd. The demonstration took place in Chile's capital, Santiago. Security forces responded to the protests with water, water, cannon and tear gas. Since June 3rd, over 90,000 Chilean primary and secondary education teachers have been on an indefinite strike in defense of public education. The teachers are rallying behind the banner of Chile's largest teachers union, Colegio de Profesores de Chile. They are demanding that the government take steps to stop the deterioration of the quality of public education, look into infrastructural problems and clear payments owed to retired teachers. 
The teachers are also opposing the curricular modifications recently announced by the Education Ministry, which would make subjects like History, Physical Education and Arts optional instead of compulsory for third and fourth grade students from next year onwards. The Union presented these demands to the Education Ministry in a 12-point charter. However, even after a month of organizing and demonstration, the Ministry has agreed to negotiate on only six of these demands. The Union has declared its intent to continue the strike after no agreements were reached yesterday. US activist Scott Warren, against whom legal proceedings were dropped recently on charges of aiding migrants, will be tried again. The case against Warren, who was an, act who was an activist with the organization No More Deaths, was declared a mistrial on June 11th after the jury could not arrive at a unanimous verdict. However, on Tuesday, it was announced that he would be tried once again on the charge of aiding migrants. Warren was arrested in January 2018, along with two migrants, from a structure known as the barn, barn in Tucson, Arizona. The barn is the staging point from where No More Deaths operates by providing water and other aid supplies for migrants who cross the hostile desert at the Mexican border. Warren and No More Deaths have maintained throughout that they just provided facilities to the migrants to rest after they had suffered severe dehydration and heat stroke in the desert. But the prosecution has been maintaining that he was part of a conspiracy to bring refugees to the United States. This case is important as it may set a precedent on what constitutes humanitarianism in the case of migrants. In the new case, the charge of conspiracy has been dropped, but Warren will be tried on two charges of harboring undocumented migrants. Now for sports news. After months of struggle, including a boycott of the Super Cup 2019, six clubs of India's top-tier football league finally managed to get a meeting with the president of the Football Federation, Praful Patel. The clubs have been struggling against a move by the Federation to replace the I-League as the highest tier of men's club football in India. Some of these teams, including the likes of East Bengal and Mohan Bagan, have millions of club members and fans and have existed for over a century. The new top-flight league will be the Indian Super League, a private, closed league owned and operated by a private entity. Newsclick Sports Desk has more on this issue. Prafil Patel apparently had a, had a conference call with IMG Reliance guys earlier in the morning and then he met the clubs. Uh, so what they have proposed right now to the I League clubs is that the current arrangement stays for another two or three years. Uh, they get time to play around, uh, negotiate with the AFC and also the clubs right now. Uh, that's what Prafil Patel is expecting, hoping that will happen. Uh, we asked him if what will change in the next three years that that you know he has been able to do right now already so far, and uh, his his explanation was pretty logical. He said that the five year lock in period that FSTL had with the ISL clubs that would end, uh, and that would give them a little more leverage. Whether it will happen or not is a different issue. But what struck me the most is uh, the change in the change in line of uh, their approach. Right? Till now, we were talking about ISL's recognition and ISL being relevant. Now, suddenly, from there, we have moved to I League getting AFC recognition. So, how did that change? Uh, uh, whether AFC will so agree, whatever AIFF has to propose, that Kapil Patel said isn't sure. And he ended by saying that if AFC does not agree to their proposal, then there will be trouble. You can watch a video of this entire this, uh, conversation on newsclick.in. That's all we have time for today. To read more about these stories, visit our website newsclick.in and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching.